ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters, and let's get right to some Skycam images. There's a look at the... Clanton image and a kind of a gray morning this morning, and uh, we got a few water drops on the lens. More water drops on the lens as we look at Jasper. Now, no water drops on the lens at Selma, but they've certainly had their share of rain. And let's take a look right away at where we stand. Here's the radar image this morning over the uh, regional uh, view over the southeastern U.S., and here is a look at the storm total precipitation. Isn't that amazing? Uh, generally uh, kind of along and south of an east-west line through Clanton is about where the heaviest rains from Fay occurred. But, of course, Fay's influences will still be felt across central Alabama for the next couple of days. Here's a look at the surface pattern. And, of course, uh, two features stand out. One is the uh, cold front stretching across the Great Lakes, and the second is the low over southern or southeastern Mississippi that is the remnants of Fay. Here's the upper air pattern, 500 millibar overlaid on the water vapor imagery from the satellite. We have a trough over the Great Lakes, and of course we've got a low, uh, upper low over the southeast, uh, just above that surface reflection of Fay. Now temperatures across the country are pretty Oh, I don't know. Warm, actually, uh, when you look at all that yellow and uh, still cool in the north central and uh, northwestern United States and still quite hot down there in the southwest. But, of course, it is August after all, even though it doesn't feel like August. And central Alabama, we can see from the, the surface map here that we can see the uh, flow pattern, the wind barbs uh, depicting the circulation of what's left of Fay. And, of course, we can see temperatures in the lower and mid-70s, so it's a kind of a mild morning. And it was a mild day yesterday with temperatures only in the 70s as a result of Fay. QPF still indicating uh, a uh, maximum of precip over uh, Alabama. Of course, with our drought situation, we can certainly uh, take that. Storm Prediction Center outlooking um, an area... Uh, around Fay and the remnants of Fay over the southeastern U.S. Uh, with the possibility of some marginal severe weather and, of course, a dying tropical system. Expect the unexpected even more so. Slight risk up over uh, the north-central United States. And uh, tropically, the uh, Hurricane Center is looking at a couple of areas. Of course, Fay not really a big concern at the moment as it's uh, uh, degrading and now just a tropical depression. And uh, here's the satellite image. Of course, we can see Fay, and then we've got a large area of cloudiness coming through the Lesser Antilles, which has not developed yet. And then, uh, of course, we can see another little uh, area out there in the central Atlantic and some clouds coming off the coast of Africa. Now, the uh, projections for the area in the Lesser Antilles, uh, still no sign that it's uh, forming anything, but, uh, of course, that's the area where Fay became uh, known. So we'll be watching that, and this is the computer model projections. All right, here's the 06Z GFS model run, and, of course, we're ma mostly concerned with what's going to happen with Fay. And you can see the GFS indicating for uh, later today that it will be over uh, southern Mississippi, and then tomorrow it'll be over southern Mississippi, and maybe even nosing a little further to the west, perhaps uh, maybe centered over southeast Louisiana. And then uh, here it is on Tuesday, and the reflection of Fay is still there, and that means we're going to be dealing with rain for the next couple of days, and temperatures remaining relatively cool for this time of year. By Wednesday, midweek, uh, the 500 millibar pattern shows that we've got a fairly uh, strong trough coming across the north central United States, and that hopefully is going to kick Fay out of the southeast and begin to migrate it to the northeast. And as it does, it should dissipate, and you can see that uh, the GFS is uh, showing very little reflection uh, of Fay, just an area of showers uh, stretching from Pennsylvania down into uh, Georgia and Alabama. By uh, Friday, uh, Fay is just sort of a figment of our imagination there, and we can see the ridge from the west nosing in. The uh, ridge noses in a little stronger on Saturday, 
And uh, that really means that we're probably going to be seeing the possibility of scattered showers, one of those things where you just can't take those scattered showers out. By a week from today, uh, the ridge is uh, centered just a little to our west, and again, that keeps us in a favorable pattern for some scattered showers. Now, extending out a little further, uh, looks like the GFS is keeping things pretty active with uh, strong westerly flow, and we can see a nice strong trough coming in uh, across the northwestern United States on Friday, the 5th of September. And then by uh, the 8th of September, uh, that trough is certainly making its influence felt across uh, all of the central part of the United States. And it looks like uh, below that, at the surface, we're going to see a reflection of possibly uh, an early season cold front. Well, we certainly appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. James should be back with the next version tomorrow morning. Hope that you have a great Sunday and God bless.